Hyatt's Dwyer, keepingitfree.blogspot.com, richarddwyer.com. Today is March the 13th, 2018. Let's talk about cryptocurrency. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let's say you are an investor and you want to buy stock in some promising company like, let's say, Hashchain or Neptune Dash. You want to Google both, right? For many of us, you're going to have to contact your broker, right? Or maybe you're going to have to pull up that TD Ameritrade or that Fidelity or that Charles Schwab account, right? Then you're going to have to figure out whether or not the stock you're buying is a foreign stock. You might need to actually get them on the phone to say, look, I want foreign stock buying capability. A lot of uh, the blockchain related stocks now are debuting on the Canadian Stock Exchange. So you want to say, look, I'm aware of the risk involved. I'd like to uh, buy this stock from Canada. If they give you authorization, then you can do the trade through your online brokerage and then you're going to have to wait for the trade to clear. And when, of course, you get the shares, you don't physically get them, right? The shares are going to be held by your online brokerage, right? TD Ameritrade, etc. Now, just imagine if that system could be updated. If instead of going through a broker, paying them, to help you spend your own money buying stock, right? Uh, paying them to hold on to your stock shares after you have picked them up on an exchange. Just imagine if instead the world was different. If instead you actually had the capability to purchase shares of a company in the form of tokens. And those tokens were then delivered to your online wallet. What if you could actually do the transaction yourself quickly without the middleman? What if the transaction was verifiable? In other words, the risk of fraud was greatly reduced because it was reflected on the distributed ledger that we call the blockchain. Why stop at stock? Theoretically, couldn't shares of real estate be tokenized? Couldn't shares of any asset be tokenized? Wouldn't the market, in fact, take off if the transaction costs, the costs you're spending to make a transaction happen, right? Today, as I've said, for many, in terms of buying stock, that involves your online brokerage, right? Just imagine if those transaction costs could be eliminated while fraud prevention at the same time could be increased. Just imagine that you could trade real estate. You could trade shares of businesses, shares of LLCs with a few swipes of your finger. Or if you're an old timer like me, a few clicks of your mouse. Folks, welcome to Polymath, right? What I want you to do, what I hope you do, if you're curious, about this groundbreaking technology is to visit their site, polymath.network, right? Polymath right now is an ERC-20 coin, right? Just understand that SEC compliance is at a premium these days, right? Many people in the cryptosphere and outside the cryptosphere are concerned about consumer protection in this new landscape of ICOs, 
right? They want to make sure that the issuers KYC know your consumer, know their consumer. They want anti-money laundering put in place, right? They want the protocol to be legally compliant. What if a coin was able to have compliance built in? What if a token actually allowed you to be whitelisted as an investor? So that when you want those shares of hash chain, you can literally just buy hash chain tokens. Let everyone know that you're the one buying the hash chain tokens. Assuring regulators that you're not laundering money. That you're actually John Brown, who they know that all of the legal requirements have already been passed. In other words, just like you're vetted by TD Ameritrade, what if you could be vetted by a cryptocurrency, right? The possibilities are huge. As you're watching CNBC or Fox Business, and as you're looking at Billions of dollars, trillions of dollars of securities being traded the old-fashioned way. Just imagine the possibility that all of that could be tokenized and that the token on the cutting edge of allowing that to happen already exists and is currently trading for less than a dollar a coin. Now, let me be blunt with you. Polymath is hard to get. I'm going to tell you how to get it. There's an exchange out there. Qcoin, spelled K-U-C-O-I-N, dot com, has an excellent exchange. Right? It is an excellent exchange. And folks, on that site, on that exchange with two-step Google authentication. In other words, you have safeguards. On that exchange, you can exchange Bitcoin for Polymath directly. Right? Let's go further. If you're worried about storing Polymath, and keep in mind, this is new cutting-edge cryptocurrency. The way the crypto world works is sometimes they come out with a great cryptocurrency before they even have a great wallet to hold it. Now, you understand, because it's an ERC-20 coin, right? Because it's developed on the Ethereum protocol, you can actually hold the coin in Ethereum wallets. But let's do better than that. Let's make it easier for the consumer. Did you know that the Jax wallet that's available right now on the Google Chrome store allows you to store Polymath in it. So you can buy Polymath on Qcoin and then you can store it in the Jax wallet, right? I'm just telling you that if you're looking for coins that if things come together could make you rich in a hurry, right? If you're looking for a coin where if the public wakes up and understands that we're headed toward an era of increased tokenization and that this coin literally would allow trillions of dollars worth of assets to be tokenized in an SEC compliant manner, then you want to take a hard look at Polymath, right? They're calling themselves an ST20 coin, right? Just understand 
The value of any coin, in my opinion, is a function of the value of the market it serves and the coin's utility, the value the coin adds to your experience. If you've ever bought stocks and been frustrated by your stock broker, if you've ever bought stocks and wondered why you can't hold your own shares, why your broker's holding the shares, if you've ever bought stocks and you didn't get the price you wanted, then I hope you take a look at Polymath. Let's talk about another coin that I think is severely undervalued that I think has major upside. I've been in this coin for a while. That coin is Zencash. Let's talk about Zencash for a moment. Just understand, arguably, the most muscular coin in terms of privacy features is Zcash. Right? Zcash is a coin where you can't tell how much was sent. I know the concept that they're selling in mainstream media about a blockchain is that you can look up every transaction. What if the blockchain doesn't allow you to trace the transaction back to the people involved in it? We're not talking about coin mixing, folks. We're talking about cryptography that's so advanced that you could do private transactions. They actually have private coins, right? If you want the transaction to be seen, you could do that too. But if you want privacy, where no one knows what you've done, right? Where your transaction is just like a cash transaction, where you could walk into a grocery store with cash, pay for that apple, pay for that banana, leave, and leave no fingerprints. Well, you can do that digitally. Now, Zcash, and I'm not here to bash Zcash. I own some Zcash too, right? I'm a bit hedged. But Zcash rewards its founders. A portion of the profits go to the founders of the protocol. Now that's capitalism. I don't bemoan that at all. I believe that if you create something, you should be able to say, look, I'm going to get X percent of the profit. Right? But understand that entrepreneurs then were able to look at the Zcash code and they thought to themselves, you know what? If we can eliminate this share of the profit, going to the founders, then that leaves more profit for the rest of us, the public. So you've had offshoots of Zcash, namely Zclassic and Zencash. Understand what happened. Zclassic split off from, Zenca from Zcash, right? Then, of course, people looked at my favorite cryptocurrency still, Dash. And they thought, wow, wouldn't it be nice if we had a node structure like Dash? Wouldn't it be nice if we had a voting structure where holders of the coin could get together and could vote on the coin's future like Dash has? Right? Where... Holders of the coin could actually vote on which contracts to enter into with third parties to take advantage of provocative markets that are fast growing, like let's say the legal marijuana market. So after Z Classic was created, a group got together, took the best parts of Z Cash and Z Classic and created Zencash, right? A very muscular, privacy-centric coin that allows you to 
have nodes, get passive income, and to actually vote on coin proposals. They've even folded into the coin a messaging system so that if there is ever an attempt by central banks or government to try to squash the coin or to try to be tyrannical in general, the decentralized technology that is Zencash will allow holders to actually continue to communicate with each other. Right? If they shut down the post office, you'll still be able to, using the blockchain, privately communicate with your friends and family. The coin, simply put, is staggering. I would encourage you to look it up. More importantly, in this world of passive income, of node operation, where investors savvy enough to own enough of a cryptocurrency that the cryptocurrency pays them money, a share of the profits every month, right? With Dash, it's called Dash Masternodes, right? Many coins have masternodes or nodes, right? PIVX has a node system. Did you know that with Zencash, all it takes is for you to own 42 Zencash to operate a secure node, right? If you own 42 Zencash, and if you set up a secure node, did you know that you'll be getting a share of the profits generated by Zencash every month automatically delivered to your Zencash wallet. Now I know when people are online they say isn't it hard to set up a secure node? Right? Many people think I'm not computer literate. It's a bit daunting when you do a search on how to set up a Zencash secure node and they come back and start talking about code. They start talking about Linux. They start talking about all these different languages. And you think to yourself, this is too important. And this coding is too advanced for me, a lay person, to try to do this. Well, folks, let's make it easy for you. If you want a Zencash node, you can hire a service. They're good. I've hired a service. I have firsthand knowledge here, right? I've had some Zencash delivered into my Zencash wallet as a result of a secure node, right? The service is Chainsaw.Ninja. Again, chainsaw.ninja. Simply put, they know what they're doing. Go to their site, look up their fees. They're very reasonable. Right? Contact them. They have all the instructions on their site. Give them, you, you never have to give them your private keys. Right? Understand when you set up a Zencash node, you don't have to give anyone your Zencash. It stays in your wallet. What you do is you give them your public address. You say, here's my public address at which I have 42 Zencash. Right? Here's my payment for you to set up my secure node. Here's my monthly payment for you to monitor my secure node. Then they'll send you an email saying, hey, you're all set up. Here is your secure node identification number. Here's your portal. So every day you can actually go look, make sure your secure node is still online, right? You can go look, click the payments button, 
See if you've received any Zen Cash payments. Folks, it's that simple. Understand, in terms of U.S. dollars, you can set up a Zen Cash node right now for well less than $2,000. Now, let me just say this. If privacy-centric, transaction-oriented cryptocurrency takes off, you're going to find that there's really no better place to be than with Zencash, dare I say Pivx, as well. Right? These are muscular coins that give you a level of privacy even beyond the coin mixing privacy of my favorite Dash. Now the fact that you can easily set up a Zencash masternode cheaply, get residual income, right? At a time when the coin itself has been part of this cryptocurrency price downturn is simply astonishing. So let me just close by saying, if you're looking for cryptos that are very well positioned, for the direction the market is taking, right? And just imagine, there are many people who are involved in transactions that they don't want to leave their fingerprints on for philosophical reasons or for privacy reasons, right? If you believe the consumer in the long run is going to continue to value their privacy. Isn't that why people do trash, uh, cash transactions? Then you want to take a hard look at Zen Cash. And if you're someone who likes dividends, who likes passive income, who likes a return on investment, then I hope you go to Chainsaw.Ninja, a company in which I do not own an ownership stake. Right? I hope you go to Chainsaw.Ninja and I hope you consider setting up a Zen Cash secure node. Let me close by saying, even bigger than the privacy-centric coin movement is the idea of the cost savings that would accrue to the consumer through tokenization, right? You're likely watching this video on an internet connected device. Somewhere where you have some level of privacy, some level of independence. Right? Just imagine if, as you watch this video, you could be buying tokenized securities that are SEC compliant. Security Exchange Commission here in the United States. Understand. Polymath's vision is global, right? They're trying to satisfy KYC, know your consumer requirements, internationally. Just imagine if all the I's were dotted and all the T's were crossed in terms of security registration requirements, such that you were in full legal compliance as you bought and sold tokenized securities and ownership shares in real estate, businesses, LLCs, etc. The idea that you can get this coin right now for under a dollar a coin is simply breathtaking. I do hope you give it a look. Understand, you can buy Polymath on KuCoin K-U-C-O-I-N and you can store it easily using a Jax wallet. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Let me just remind folks too, I've mentioned two standard companies with share issuance, Hashchain and Neptune Dash that I do hope you Google and I do hope you research. Right, the upside for both, quite frankly, 
is huge. Let me also say too that we're at a point now where cryptocurrency mining is starting to migrate to places like Canada where you have affordably priced electricity and where you have we'll call it a robust legal system <laughs> right it's also migrating to places like Montana right that's a breathtaking development it underscores just how important parts of the cryptocurrency ecosystem are right in my opinion it's only a matter of time before these mining operations start to have a political voice right I know there's a big movement in crypto toward proof of stake right I believe proof of work where you have miners and they're actually helping build the blockchain I believe that's very important because it increases the sense of community it increases the decentralization of power I believe you want that understand that's here in North America already right expect to see more mining operations popping up in places like Montana Tennessee Canada right places where you have available electricity at affordable rates and you have the landmass to actually allow you know the establishment of these mining centers right mining can be loud it's not the kind of thing that you're going to have next door to a restaurant, right? You need some land. You need some natural resources, right? Just understand, as cryptocurrency gets tested in the marketplace, as the full market cap of cryptocurrency is below $400 million as I make this video, that the cryptocurrency ecosystem is taking steps right now to ensure a long-term viability right many people aren't fully conscious of the fact that cryptocurrency is literally right next door to them now right people are using it miners are moving in right the cost savings of tokenization will soon be apparent there's at least one company about to do an issuance using polymath right once Wall Street sees the cost savings folks I'll be surprised if this cryptocurrency currently trading for under a dollar doesn't take off let me also say too that polymath has a huge group on telegram I would encourage you to go to that app, go to the Polymath group in that app, and uh, talk to them, right? List questions and stuff like that to find out more about the cryptocurrency. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.